Carly Smith, the number three hitter. She is seven for 14 in this tournament with seven runs driven in and a home run. So some proficient hitters up here in the first inning for Delaware. Later behind one and two. That's that behind us and out of play. So Ashley Slater's third appearance in a World Series in her Little League career. Slater with one of the best nicknames. Slater Tot is her nickname. <laughs> Coming back from that World Series last year when she was in the senior league. Inside, throw down to first. Send Smith diving back in the back. Now Isaacs wants to pay attention to those. If they're going to snap throw the first base, she may want to try and take third on that. You don't want to let them fiddle around much with a runner that's behind you. Two, two pitch to Slater. And the count goes full. And Torres just one ball away from loading the bases. Slater's done a nice job initially behind in the count, working it back to full. She's in a good position here with a couple runners on base. Slater back is the first Delaware batter who was not started off with the ball. First pitch ball of the first three batters of this game before Slater came in. Isaac's getting Slater a little signal out there at second as to where she felt the pitch at least would be. Location, possibly, spotted out there by the runner at second. Yeah, you can see Isaac's waving. And you see that sometimes with the runners on second base. You can see the signals. The problem is with that, but it, you know, everything has to work. Number yeah. one, you have to read the signal correctly. Number two, the pitcher has to actually execute it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just confusing. Full count pitch with two on to Slater. And a foul ball. Slater's doing a nice job at this point with the, with the balls that are close to the zone. See so on the inside corner, she's really yanking those severely foul. But a good job working through this count. Wilkins 
over there in the third base line. Soder sends another one out of play. Torres mixes it up right there. We've seen her work so much inside against Slater. She tries the outside corner. Slater still protects the plate. in this at bat. Torres has thrown a total of 17 in this inning, 10 of them to Slater. And then the fourth hitter she has faced. Six, 10 pitches, five of them have been fouled off. And finally, Torres is able to get one past Slater for the big second out of the inning. I'll tell you something, Torres takes just a little bit off of this. I wouldn't call it a complete changeup. But she definitely pulled a little speed off that, and it was just enough. Look how out front Slater is. She was on the ball. She was just ahead of it. So it's up to Michaela Steele now with two on and two away. Steele is the pitcher. So gets to hit and sends that one down the left field line. If it's fair, it's trouble, but it's just foul. Isaacs definitely would have scored, and she was off at the crack of the bat with two outs. Well, that's key. Isaacs has some speed down there, second base. You can see her try to get a real good jump. That's the advantage of two outs. In softball, you cannot leave the base until the ball leaves the pitcher's hand, unlike baseball, where you can take the lead at any time. Steele sends that one towards the shortstop, Maldonado, and Puerto Rico. Gets out of it. Two on with one away. Delaware can't score. It's 1-0 Puerto Rico as 